Hello folks, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2023, looking at some of the new features in version 2023 of the program. What's new in version 2023? The answer is, well, not a lot. Actually, mostly what Adobe has concentrated on is streamlining the program. It used to have facilities for outputting DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Those have been removed completely. It used to also have a library of special effects from New Blue. Those have also been removed. Our Hollywood effects or our Hollywood looks have also been removed. Those were gradation styles that you could apply to your video with a single click. In its place are artistic effects. The artistic effects, as you can see, reference artwork, although they are not as dramatic as you might think, at least most of them aren't that I've found, and you can use them in place of color gradations. So for instance, if I were to apply golden light to my video clip, you can see it changes the look of the video clip. Once it's applied, I can go over here to the Applied Effects panel and I can set the intensity of it so I can make golden light much more intense or I can make it a much more subtle effect. But that's really the only adjustment you can make to an artistic effect. When I go over here and apply a different artistic effect, say Pastoral, and drag it onto my clip, you notice I get a warning saying the old effect is going to be replaced by the new, which is exactly what I want. Click yes. And this is the uh, pastoral effect. And that's a little more dramatic. You can see a little more cartoonish look to it. Let's try one more. I happen to like warm tone. This is one I'm more likely to use. And you can see when I apply it, it removes the old effect and replaces it with the new. And this one kind of gives a nice uh, it looks like real color gradation to me, and I may reduce that just a little bit. Let's uh, move that playhead so that I can actually see something. I may reduce that just a little bit by selecting it here in Applied Effects and dragging down intensity and making it a milder effect. That's more like I might use it. So again, the difference between where it was and where it is is not terribly dramatic, but these artistic effects, Adobe is quite proud of these, and they're worth checking out. They're not quite what Hollywood looks were, uh, but they can also be used to add nice color gradation to your video. That is really the greatest change to the program here in version 2023. Beyond that, not a lot of major changes in the program. It's mostly been streamlined. It allegedly works a little faster, but I think what has been removed is probably a bigger headline than what remains. That said, if you want to know more about this program, and it remains a pretty powerful program, still my favorite program for editing basic home video, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. If you want to know everything about this program and see it all in detail on how to make it work, you'll want to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and its companion book, the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And those are both available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the book, and I hope to see you at moviepicks. Take care.